Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see Django widget tweaks. Okay, so before creating this video, I was just gonna create videos on Django crispy forms. But one of my very supportive subscriber, he recommended me to create a video on this topic. So first, we will see this topic and then we will move to Django crispy forms. Okay. So I have created this folder known as Django widget tweaks. Okay. I have not given any underscore or hyphen to separate the words. Okay. Now here I'm going to create virtual environment. So I'll say virtual env env and I will just activate it. So I'll say source env bin activate. Now I will install the Django pip install Django Now what I'm gonna do is I'll just go to browser and I'll go to github.com Okay, I need to log into this website. I'll quickly log in and come back one minute 37 seconds later. Okay, I'm logged in now. I'll go to the repositories and uh, we will just grab this template bootstrap 5 okay i'll just copy this link go to vs code and paste that one i will say git clone and hit enter okay before starting with this what is django widgets tweaks so it is a easy method to pass the CSS or any type of parameter in the Python forms. Okay, so let's say you have created Python form and you want to style that. In Python, it's very, it's, a, I would not say difficult, but it's a bit confusing way to pass the style and pass the placeholder to the form. Whereas this Twix widgets gives us the widgets to pass the class directly from the html okay i know it will not make sense right now because i'm explaining without showing any practical way so i'll just implement that and i'll show you how it's easy so i'll just copy all this file outside of the folder I'll delete that one okay now I'll also delete this folder which is crispy underscore bootstrap underscore 5 and manage.py and I have already installed the Django so I don't need to install it again but I don't know why virtual environment is not activated let's Activate by our own, so I'll say source env bin activate, and I'll say Django hyphen admin start project, and I'll say widgets underscore fix. Okay, and I'll give space and uh, write dot. And hit enter okay so the project has been created now i'll simply go to settings.py over here i will write main then i'll go to urls i'll import include and i'll say include main dot urls and i'll also remove this one okay once this is done um you can go to templates base okay so here we don't have any type of the crispy widgets in imported so just keep this uh, bootstrap in your uh, template we need that okay because twix will basically uh, fetch the class directly from this url i go to main login underscore user 
we just need to remove this one and we are fine also we need to remove this crispy okay and go to user register come over here remove that one also remove this one okay done so let's perform migrate command so i'll say python manage.py migrate done and i'll say python manage.py create super user it will be admin email will be blank admin admin yes created i'll say python manage.py run server okay we have error home.html okay let's go to settings.py and here we need to write templates refresh okay let's go to login underscore user now you can see these fields don't have css okay so what we are gonna do is we'll just search django widget twix go to this url i'll just copy this command and open my terminal i'll just import one one other terminal and hit enter the package has been installed now you can copy this app name go to settings.py which is already open in my vs code i'll just paste that one then what's rest here yeah, we need to load this widget twix okay let's go to login underscore user and i'll just load that one okay now when you are using this widget twix you need to load each and every field individually so here we were just writing this form and we were getting all the fields okay but in that but in this case we need to load it individually okay so what is the difference of using this widget twix and directly passing the css classes in this form.py file this one here we can easily you know write a variable widget here we can easily write the widgets and pass the property whatever we want okay this is a bit complicated way and confusing too for beginners instead they can use this package all right so now if i go to documentation what they are saying is we just need to write this uh, render underscore field and pass the forms or form dot the field name so i'll just copy this one okay i'll go to this uh, login underscore user dot html okay now i'll just paste that one now here we have form variable but we don't have search query field in that if i open this forms.py file you can see in the login user form we have this two field which is username and password so i'll just copy this username field and paste that one over here the search type this type is not going to be search so i'll just remove that then what we have another is password so i'll just go to forms.py copy this field name duplicate this line and password okay now let's do one thing i'll just remove this we don't need that i also remove this we don't need this too so just write this way okay save it come over here refresh i also need to remove this one okay now we have two fields over here so here what we can do is we can go to getbootstrap.com okay in the docs we have this form control okay now we just need to copy some classes okay so we have this one we don't need that okay. 
okay so we can copy this one i'll just copy this okay i'll paste that one over here now i will just copy this username field and i will just paste it in front instead of this uh, input field that is done duplicate this one i'll just cut this password and paste that over here come over here refresh now you can see email address and email address but we do not want that right so here we will say username and here we can say password but this password field is not pa password field okay so if i write admin over here and if i write admin over here we can directly see this string instead of that dots so what we can do over here we can say type equals to password okay save it refresh and if you write anything over here it will be password field okay and before in the forms.py we were doing something like this right it's hard to remember but if someone is you know trying to learn django in very easy way then they can use this one it is same thing at the end okay so this is the magic and i'll show you one another magic is that if i say class plus equals to form control hyphen control save this one refresh you can see now it has bootstrap class implemented all right same way we can do for password refresh now you can see this is also working show and hide the password and the username also is working so let's try to submit this form so i'll say admin oops admin admin submit we are able to log in and we are able to log out so here i will go to register now oops register you can see this form is now messed up this form don't have the css implemented okay so i guess i'm gonna give you a task see you need to implement this user registration form same as this login form okay so in forms.py we have this fields to register user use this fields and create the form just go ahead in my github repository okay i'll provide the link in the description and fork this one and uh, create the form using this django widget tweaks by following this video and make a pull request i will merge that pull request and it would be helpful for other people who are taking who are going to take reference of this repository in order to learn this thing okay so i hope you got idea about django widget tweaks so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one Thank you.